The key claim in the analysis of the scaling algorithm is that the maximum number of iterations for a scaling phase is at most twice the number of edges. By scaling phase, I mean an iteration of the outer loop here, where we have a fixed value of delta. We start with the following lemma. If the residual graph with threshold delta has no st paths, then there exists an st cut, AB, such that the capacity of the cut is, at most, the value of the flow plus the number of edges times delta minus 1. The proof will feel a lot like the max flow min cut proof. We let A be the set of vertices reachable from S in our residual graph, and we let B be the complement of those set of vertices. Edges from A to B in this graph must have residual capacity at most delta minus 1, otherwise the vertex in B would be reachable from the source S, and hence a part of A. And edges from B to A can't have flow more than delta minus 1, or the reverse edge would appear in the residual graph. The value of the flow, then, is the flow out of A minus the flow back into A. And using these bounds here, we can bound this by the capacity minus delta minus 1. And similarly, for these back edges, we can do that with the delta minus 1 bound. This, then, is just the capacity of the cut. And combining the delta minus 1 terms, well, that can only appear in e number of terms here. So that gives us the remaining part of the bound. With this lemma complete, we now return to the main claim that we want to prove. The base case where delta is equal to c is trivial, since each augmenting flow here saturates one of the edges out of the source. For subsequent iterations, we let f be the flow after the scaling phase delta, and we'll let g be the flow before, that is, the flow after the previous scaling, which would be either 2 delta or 2 delta plus 1, depending on how the integer division rounding worked. The value of the flow f is at most the maximum flow, but this is at most the capacity of the st cut induced by the flow g in the previous iteration, where the threshold was 2 delta. Our lemma then says that this is at most the flow of g plus the number of edges times 2 delta. Now we let k be the number of iterations that we use to go between the flow g and the flow f. Well then, k times delta is a lower bound on the difference between the value of the flow f and the value of the flow g. Each iteration increased the flow by at least delta. But from this bound here, we have that this is at most twice the number of edges times delta. And so from this then, we conclude that the number of iterations is at most twice the number of edges. This then completes the analysis of the scaling algorithm. We have at most log c iterations of the outer loop, order e iterations of the inner loop, and each one of these iterations takes order e time for a total of e squared log c, as we state in this theorem. The scaling algorithm returns a maximum flow in time order e squared log c, where c is the maximum capacity of an edge coming out of the source.